Hey, it's Alex here from Black Sheep IT Consulting. Uh, in this video, I would like to summarize the use cases I've put together for generative AI and Siebel CRM. So you might have seen the first video, uh, which showcases the text summarization. You will see that again here. Uh, and let's start in the Gen AI Playground in OCI and view the model details. That's quite interesting as it lists all the currently available pre-trained models that you can use out of the box. And they have plenty of cohere based models that are suitable for text summarization as seen in the demo before and text generation, which is the more generic thing that you have instructions and the model generates text so much like chat gpt and one of the other capabilities of specific models is text embeddings so it tells us here that this is to convert text to vector embeddings so we can use it for semantic search text classification text clustering and um, I will specifically also show a use case in Siebel for that capability. So let's choose one of the text embeddings. Uh, let's go with the, well, we can literally use any one of those. Let's use the embed multilingual light. So you see that the UI in the playground switches. So you can add sentences, a maximum of 96 inputs is available here and for a sentence I choose something that is actually the JSON that is representing a record in a Siebel presentation model because that's what my demo is based on. So this is a product record of Siebel grabbed from the presentation model and let's, let's see when we run this uh, we get a vector projection. So there's only one sentence here so that's a DSL installation and let's add another sentence so that's a different record DSL service let's run that and can see they are projected against each other so now let's do a third one and uh, as soon as you have three or more then uh, this starts making sense because as you can see that two and three are more closer to each other than one and this is a visual representation of the vectors that the LLM has returned and you can export these vectors to JSON so and I've opened this JSON file in notepad plus plus and what you can see is that uh, it returns the texts you have been sending and it also returns the embedding so embedding and embedding is a very large array of these vector numbers or well, coordinates if you will and there are, there's a lot of use cases that you can use for these embeddings uh, for example you can calculate the similarity a variety of algorithms exist to calculate the similarity of these vector arrays and thus calculate the similarity of records as you will see in the demo shortly. So here I am in the uh, Siebel application and I've enabled a demo, a feasibility study, it's not even a demo, uh, for uh, products uh, because let's say um, product search related products is something that you might have a use case for and I filtered some of the sample database DSL products uh, selected is the first record and if I click the demo button then I get the embeddings back uh, which is showing a few different pieces of information so first of all it shows the records that are most similar to the selected record so this could be of course beefed up a little bit with a uh, more clever navigation etc so it's, it's essentially the sorted array of similarity results that it has calculated for the visible records only. I'm not going as far as 
creating vectors for millions of products in the database, which is an entire different story. So here I'm using the vectors and you can see the vectors generated for each product. So this is the first product. And just to show the, these vector arrays are really huge. There are 1,024 entries. And the cosine similarity that I use to calculate the similarity for the first record, the selected one is one, so it's identical. And the second record has a cosine similarity of 0 0.77. Uh, minus one would be totally dissimilar and zero would be already very si dissimilar and 0 0.77 is somewhat similar. Um, and of course you can sort this and that, that's what I did and identify the best six in this case. And so you have the six most similar records in this set. Always consider this is just a feasibility study. So we're using the current record set of 20 records. Uh, that cosine similarity, you can look it up, is uh, an algorithm that it can be used to con compare vector arrays. And funny enough, I used uh, Oracle Generative AI to have me generate uh, the JavaScript code to actually calculate that cosine similarity, which is another nice use case for uh, generative AI as a developer. I can, if I'm not too familiar with the algorithm itself, but I'm familiar with the programming language, I can get some code snippets that I can put to use. It wouldn't generate the entire code, of course, but it generates the snippets. So let's try this once more with the different product selected. Let's pick that DSL modem here, run the demo. And you can see that the similar record list is now uh, different because, well, the similarity between those records is calculated. And uh, the DL DSL wireless router, for example, is according to this algorithm, the most similar record in this list. Uh, the uh, second use case I want to present is um, the use case of text generation. So basically I have an input text and I want the LLM to generate some text. And in this case, I'm using the Siebel Solutions database. Again, this is the sample database with the uh, knowledge base that you have. And here's a solution about a zero footprint, a question about zero footprint and an answer. And when I take that text and go back to the playground and I simply put that text in as an input for, uh, that's actually a text generation model now. It will, uh, well, generate some text and it will, well, <laughs> make up some stuff and um, tell you more about it. So it's like a tell me more about this, but of course you can prompt it. You can engineer the prompts to have a more desirable output. For example, I can add a line, enhance the following statement with accurate information in English, but avoid getting too technical. So a layman's terms explanation I want. Then add a German translation of the original text. So let's see what the model, how the model reacts when I send that off. So here it sends me an enhanced version of the text and it uh, sends me a German translation. Uh, not that I'm probably as a German native <laughs> would not be too happy, but as a non-German native, it's good enough to understand. Um, well, not English native, <laughs> it's good enough to make sense of the German. Okay, so you see where I'm getting at. So, and this is actually what I'm doing in the demo. I'm just taking the solution text and I'm prefixing engineering a prompt by prefixing this information. Uh, let's see how it works out in Siebel. So here I'm in the solutions view. I'm selecting uh, that Siebel sales product news from 2001, uh, very current. And uh, let's run the demo. So this sends the text with the prefix and I get the response back, which should include an enhanced description and a German translation. Yes, so that is definitely a little bit enhanced text and the German translation. Uh, yeah, 
not bad, not terrible, I would say, but um, definitely can be improved. Maybe choosing a different model here would improve things. And that's where, where this feasibility study ends. So it's a feasibility study. Yes, we can engineer some prompts using text in Siebel, can send them along. Text generation is the easiest use case and the use cases for text generation are plenty, such as enhancing information or generating, uh, for example, emails or letters and whatnot. And also the language support is quite impressive. And uh, the final generative AI demo is a, rep a repetition of what you have seen in previous video, just including it here for completeness. This is the text summarization demo where I am sending the selected record to the generative AI service and I'm getting back based on the description of the report where I can place an additional prompt, let's say, um, I get a summary of the data. So let's see what happens. So I wanted a summary and a bulleted list of fields with some emojis to represent the values. Well, more or less, <laughs> uh, that was not good enough. Uh, let's try a different one. So I'm asking it to use flamboyant language. Uh, let's see if it can do that. Yes, uh, it's using flamboyant language. Okay, so this is the text summarization, which I demonstrated um, a while ago in a different video. So here we have it, all the three generative AI capabilities, text embedding, text summarization and text generation as a feasibility study in Siebel CRM. So this video serves to preserve this information and give you ideas. Of course, hit the comments if you like this. And also make sure to pay a visit to the Siebel Hub, siebelhub.com, where you can learn more about this in our Siebel New Features training. Uh, Siebel New Features for Application Integrators, in this case, you would like to go where you find our OCI AI service training module. So you can take the full course or just the module at a very reasonable price and learn all about OCI AI services integration with Siebel 22.10 and higher. You also find a link in the description. Thanks for watching. Take care and bye bye. Thank you.